G'day guys, welcome back to another video. This is like day two in the podcast form and I have and will be recording these all at the one time. But right now I'm kicking goals, playing some good pickleball up in Queensland. So I can't, uh, I guess, record these videos on the daily. I'm doing these all in a row. So this is the second day talking about the team. And today we are focusing on the defense. I know Yesterday was hard enough talking about the offense, but actually the defense isn't playing that well either, right? When you think about it, this Pittsburgh Steelers defense is renowned for key players. Troy, you know, uh, James Debo Harrison, Big Snack, um, guys like James Farrier who turn up every single day. You know, these kind of guys. Amar Woodley, who who was so underrated and no one, no one you know, thought he was Pro Bowl or, or, or Hall of Fame material, but he was fantastic to watch. Uh, Lawrence Timmons, those guys, Mean Joe Green, all the dudes back in back in the day, Mel Blunt, those dudes, right? This defense doesn't show that. It really doesn't show that, right? The 2022 um, Steelers defense is not Blitzburg. It's not. It's full. It's full of Swiss cheese holes. The secondary sucks overall. Um, I thought I had a good. I thought I had a good, promising feeling about Witherspoon, but obviously he's going to be probably. Sent to the bench. I believe he'll be sent to the bench with the addition of uh, William Jackson the third. Now they're kind of excited to bring him in. Sure, he's had some injuries and stuff like that, but we need something to change. You know, um, it's it's just the minute that TJ Watt went down, this whole defense fell apart. I believe they haven't. They, they we've won one game. We've won one game with T without TJ. We've lost, I believe, nine games without TJ. That is 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 also coaching it's the players need to do better you know you got to call out players like Spillane and Devin Borsch and the defense and uh Witherspoon and, and and Levi Wallace when he was in there but he's also been injured too the defense has been banged up from Kazi to to Levi Wallace being out to Ogan Joby who I thought was playing pretty good and then he gets injured Demarvin Leal is playing really well he gets injured okay Injuries are a part of life in the NFL. However, they do it does suck and it does hurt the team. Because our defense right now, if you if you look at it, I think some of the only players that are trying hard is guys like Cameron Haywood. You know, he's trying pretty hard out there. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, who else? You know, um, uh, not Malik Reed. Miles Jack's playing pretty hard out there. Terrell Edmonds and, and Minka Fitzpatrick, they're playing pretty hard. But they're also still getting burnt. Minka Fitzpatrick got burnt on a big TD as well. They allowed against the Eagles really big TDs, something they didn't allow versus the Bucs. During the Bucs was, was a fantastic, um, um, organized, coached team to not allow the big plays against Brady. However, the Eagles come to town, or when we go to, to Philadelphia Eagles, we can't win there anyway since 1965, right? When we go there, the defense falls apart. And they allowed four touchdowns for Jalen Hurts, which was a career high for him, and three touchdowns for AJ Brown, which also was a career high for him too. Secondary just fell apart. Now, if I can find some stats, I will find some stats if I can, uh, and we'll break down a few things. But overall, the defense hasn't played as well as we think, or a top five or a top 10 or anything like that. They've been pretty bad. Now, if I go to total defense, opponent yards uh, yards per game, let's have a look. So let's see how many yards they're giving up per game. The Pittsburgh Steelers are allowing an alarming – this is crazy, right? This is absolutely crazy. They're allowing uh, – where was it? 395 yards per game. That's crazy. That's 30 more than last year. 330, 367 they allowed. So they're 29th in the league for allowing yards per game. That is awful. That is bad. You cannot win games like that. It won't happen. Now, also, the defense uh, opponents plays per game. Let's have a look. Okay, I think it's going to be it's going to be worse. If that was big than this, it would be huge. The Pittsburgh Steelers um, are allowing 66, almost 67 plays per game. 30th in the league. They're on the bottom of the ranks with Seattle, Pittsburgh, Carolina, and Houston. They're allowing 67 uh, plays per game. So the defense out there a lot. Now, that's got a lot to do with the offense. Can't keep on the field. So what happens? The defense has to run out there and play extra snaps. But that's bad. It's going to tire the defense out. And without TJ Watt, that's that's pretty awful, right? That's pretty bad. 
Now let's look at some. Um, what else can I find? Third down, com- third down conversions per game. This would be quite interesting. So throughout the whole bye week, third down, and I got to scroll all the way down the bottom. That's that's the problem, right? You see, every time you bring, bring up a stat, you're scrolling all the way down the bottom. Pittsburgh Steelers on third downs are allowing 6.1 per game. That's pretty bad. And that's that's uh, 30th in the league. Everything about this team is either 30th or 32nd and in the wrong direction. There is no real positives for this team uh, in those circumstances, right? Average time of possession. This will be a fun one to find out too. Yet again, got to scroll down halfway down there. And the same as the offense, they're allowing 30 minutes and 20 seconds. So that's 20 seconds. Not too bad. It's It's gotten better. It's gotten better. Let's look at some passing defense. This will be quite intriguing too, right? Let's look at the opponent's yards per attempt. So what is a passing yards per attempt for, for the Pittsburgh Steelers? And on my scroll button is getting out of whack because I've got to keep scrolling down the bottom. Pittsburgh Steelers are allowing 7.5 yards per attempt in the air. That's that's almost 70% of the, of the first down marker, okay? 29th in the league, Atlanta, Minnesota, and Detroit are all worse, which basically means that our secondary is pretty horrible and there's, no, there's zero pass rush, right? Zero pass rush. And I believe for sacks, we are one of the worst too. I do believe that. Sacks per game. I think we're the worst in the league. I'm pretty sure we're the worst. Uh, Where is it? Sacks per game. Yet again, 1.9. 1.9. We're 23rd. So guys, there are some stats there. I won't go through all of them. Overall, the defense is, is also playing pretty bad. Cameron Hayward can't do everything by himself. You know, he does need help. There's been injuries on the defensive line. It feels like the middle of the field is easily targeted um, by these quarterbacks, by Hurts. Um, Who was the other guy that ripped us up? Uh, Josh Allen ripped us up too, you know. The middle of the field's always been like that. Uh, It seems like third down, they can easily convert third downs. If it's third and 13, third and 14, third and 10, doesn't matter. They give up the, the big downs and... Tomlin has always preached, you know, bend but don't break, but there's no real scheme around this. The, the team overall, look at these stats, quite alarming, you know. Um, I will be going in tomorrow's video when I release tomorrow's video. I'll be talking about how do they get better. So we focused on the first day. Go back and listen to that, the offense. Second day is today. We're focusing on the defense. And overall, it's not good, guys. It really isn't good at all. So tomorrow, in tomorrow's video, as I, as I shortly wrap up, because it's really put me in a in a uh, negative mindset thinking whoa man this team is bad we're two and we're two and six how do we get out of this so I will be talking about how we get out of this this rut this mess um in tomorrow's video why not because this defense right now is allowing everything like the Bills absolutely crushed us and the Eagles crushed us now those two teams the Bills and Eagles that could be your Super Bowl matchup the AFC side and the NFC side they are project, pro- projecting right now that that could be the Super Bowl matchup being those two teams. But other than that, this defense can't stop anything and they're waiting for the likes of TJ Watt to come back. You can't put everything on Highsmith. You can't put everything on Cameron Haywood. The young fellas aren't getting it done like like uh, Spillane or Marcus Allen or those dudes in there. It's just not happening. Trey Norwood, who I was really high on, has played pretty awful this year too. And then you bench the likes of Witherspoon to bring in Pierre. Then Pierre gets injured. It's all over the shop. There's no real identity or culture or physicality um, to this defense. They just like they act like they act like they already know the other team's won. That's what they act like. They act like the other team has already got seven points on the board and they give up. All right, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's theme will be can the can the Pittsburgh Steelers turn this up? round. I'll see you guys later.